<laughs> Yo, um, last couple days were interesting to say the least. Let's get right. Let's get into the video. DeAndre Ayton was at the park. Phoenix Suns, rookie, y'all heard of him? Anytime a YouTuber pulls up at the, YouTuber, mm-mm. It's 4 a.m., I'm gonna slip up a few times this video. Anytime an NBA player pulls up to the park, I hear about it immediately. Somebody tweets it at me at some point, and I know it's happening. Sometimes I hop on, if it's Drake, and I try and get the game, and he ducks and dodges for a whole few hours, and then eventually leaves the park. Other times, DeAndre Ayton took on every single YouTuber that pulled up, and I cannot make this stuff up. He didn't win one game or a couple games. He beat all of these guys. Wish I was making this up. And then, and then, and then, just to remind everybody that a professional NBA player was beating folks whose job it is to play 2K, he put it on Twitter. So let's see the victims. Immediately, GG Power Got Game, one of the biggest tryhards in the game. GG to I'm Davis. I definitely poked some fun at him. <laughs> he lost to an NBA player. And GG to base Chico. I know Splash Bros was on um, Davis's team. There's a whole lot of comp players pulling up to that weren't necessarily YouTubers. And uh, Splash Bros uploaded the gameplay, so let's take a quick peek. First things first, Splash Bros, you're trash. Cause you were shooting half whites the entire game. I can't believe you actually put this up. Even though you knew he was playing like garbage. Zero points, 0 for 2, head ass. All right, so DeAndre Ayton is right here. His username is DeAndre underscore D-E-A zero or something like that. And you might think like maybe he was getting carried by 99 overalls. Mm -mm. This guy, you could easily mistaken as a park tryhard. Watch this. But he's not even playing defense. I, I end up having to foul him. Okay, that wasn't the clip I wanted to show you guys. Let me find the clip. 3.28 a.m. It's 4 a.m. I'm gonna slip up a few times this video. All right, here it is. Found it, I think. There was a whole bunch of clips. Here's a behind the back move. Check it out, ISO. He's going against I'm Davis, momentum cross, snatch back. Yo. Yo, this guy is cold. Flopped. DeAndre Ayton is cold. Number one draft pick is cold. At Splash Boys, come on, Splash. You're not supposed to be cheering on the other team, my guy. All right, so check this out. Runs the ISO up against I'm Davis. Okay. Okay, rhythm dribble, momentum behind the back, momentum cross, spin move inside. Davis was playing some pretty good defense against the block. Check it out, okay, snatch back up against Davis again, momentum cross, and then there's a behind the back rhythm dribble, in and out, another momentum behind the back, and then bangs a three. Like, that's not, that's not an average player, bro. This guy came on here with the sauce and was dropping everybody off. Anyway, I was impressed most definitely. I had to drop him a follow. I don't care if you haven't played Park for five months. You should have the muscle memory built in on this low skills gas looking ass game to come on here and drop off an NBA player. Come on, man. Come on. Anyway, uh, this is gonna be the weirdest transition ever and there's no real way to make it, but I was at my parents' house last night and somebody linked this video to me don't ask too many questions. Let's just, um, let's, uh, let's watch this video. All right, y'all. What's up? This your boy, Misty Rath, man. I'm back with another video. I know we rocking. And as I can see by the title, we are here with the top five biggest dicks in the community, all right? Y'all ready for this? Now, at number five, we have your boy, Saluma Nazi. Y'all already know <laughs> watched it because I said I wanted to watch it on video. What would possess a man to drop, <laughs> and with full confidence, my guys, to drop a five biggest <laughs> that This man was in the community, man. You know he's been piping hella hoes. That nigga sausage is probably like, that it's probably like right here, my guy. Like, I'm about to show you a picture, you know, in the video. But is up there, man. You know what I'm saying? That nigga got that nigga. That nigga, that nigga is huge, man. That nigga's dick is huge. You know what I'm saying? No cap. Like for all my Saloon Naughty fans, man. Shout out to that nigga. Oh my Naughty, God! Bro. What is happening? No. 
What have we turned into, guys? This is what we're up to in 2018. I do not know what is next, and I don't even want to know. But by the title, I found out, and because Davis wouldn't stop laughing about it. Davis, by okay, I literally, okay, let me stop for a second to get serious. Let's go on Discord for a second. This is my username. Davis sucks LeBron off. He does a lot. Davis was so mad he wasn't in this video. He renamed his Discord to I have top five biggest dicks, guys. I don't know why I'm friends with a lot of these people. Honestly, I ask myself the question all the time. On the list, we got Agent Zero, AKA Bruno Mars. Okay, apparently I'm coming up next. Apparently I'm not number one, I'm number four. No cap. Anyways, so let's number see what four. He's talking about. On the list, we got Agent Zero, AKA Bruno Mars, nigga. The fing. Rim protector, the, the the fridge protector. That shit is chubby, you know? It's oh wide and like long, bro. What am I doing? Like long I don't know. like this, bro. It's just wide and you gotta grip that thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to shout out to all my big dick ass niggas in the community, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's how we that's how we bum it, cuz. That's how we bum it. So that's that nigga that's number four. Number three. Alright, let's there's no way to really transition from this, so let's just go to the next video. So apparently this video was removed, but it was uploaded about a year ago. I never watched it, but I think I'm in it. That's, I would put myself in it. If I was a smaller YouTuber and I was making a top 10 ugliest 2K YouTubers, i put myself in it just so it's in the title. But in reality, we know I wouldn't be in the shits, right? <laughs> okay, as long as we know. There are uglier people than you, and that's true. He is a great YouTuber. All respect for him. But you know, <laughs> not everyone's gonna be looking the best around here. And the looks ain't, the looks ain't for Troy Dan. And number, fuck you. You are. Sh oh, I bet you look like a crippled fucking alcoholic. Five. We have your boy. Agent. Agent zero zero. I'm pretty this easy. guy, He's lying great about YouTuber. This. As I said about some other YouTubers, have a lot of respect He's, for him. Wait, Troy Dan, make that face again when he said I was a great YouTuber. Great YouTuber. As I said about some other YouTubers. What is that face, Troy Dan? Am I gonna have to talk to you about this, bro? What, what do you have to say to me, man? He said I'm a great YouTuber and you give that face? It's a beef between me and you, officially. I have a lot of respect for this guy. I'm curious who's number one now. His videos are so entertaining. I guess it's gonna been worse. Well, I gotta admit, but the boy ain't the prettiest, you know. It all it ain't always about the looks, you know. <laughs> and number four, <laughs> Jeez, that, that was the cringiest laugh ever. It ain't always about the looks, you know. <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah, I would pay to see what that guy looks like. And I can't believe he put stacks on here. Who's third? What is that? A unlockable character in Super Smash Bros? Who the fuck is that? Oh, I don't know who that is. We got Soluminati, and then I don't know who that is either. All right, all right. Um, I've had my fun. There's this video that you guys have been telling me to react to, apparently. So let's investigate. So there's a YouTuber called Exceeding Next Gen, and he uploaded this video talking about an ex 2K employee leaks crazy info. So of course I was intrigued. I clicked on it and I watched it. Now here's what he said. If I, if, if you'd allow me to summarize here, and I'll link the full video below if you want to watch it. There was a guy who used to work for 2K that posted a bunch of their business practices on Reddit, but then he removed it immediately, which could mean one of two things, right? First of all, we don't know whether he was an actual employee or not. 2K's business practices never really leak. 2K is, it's impossible to get these guys to leak something, man. It is very, very difficult. Although this year, I've been hearing a lot of leaks way earlier than previous years. So there's a chance that he's an actual employee. He put it up, then he realized 2K might take legal action on me for putting out something like this, and then he took it down. Or maybe like they did threaten him with something like that, and then he took it down. Or maybe it's just fake, I'm not sure, but uh, the video goes on to say this. This is all alleged stuff. There's no real way to verify whether this is true or not, but if you just extrapolate based on events, I feel like the specificity was enough for me to believe that chances are it's likely that this guy was actually an employee. Now, uh, again, since he doesn't have the actual uh, proof of it, and he's kind of just paraphrasing, uh, he might have missed out on some information. There's, of course, some potential inaccuracy there. That being said, this is what he said. There was the 
finesse with the hairstyles where 2K intentionally put hairstyles in the game the way they did because if you put on a hairstyle without trying it, you would spend more VC to try out another hairstyle and then it was just a mechanism to get you to buy more and more VC because they knew people would want to customize their players to the exact way that they wanted it to look and without being able to preview it, they expected that you'd be spending more VC, they'd be making more money. One. Two was the rookie mode finesse. They found that too many people were making VC on rookie mode and too many people were playing rookie mode. And I don't even know how they have those numbers. That's insane, by the way, if they can do that. So instead of tweaking the numbers or maybe making it more enticing to play other difficulties, they just removed rookie mode totally. The next thing he talked about was the prelude. NBA 2K intentionally did things with the prelude to make it seem like your player was gonna be some fantastic player. But when you actually get into NBA games, your player feels incredibly limited at 60 overall but in the prelude he feels like an all-star right he's out there dropping buckets the sliders are on your side and apparently that was done purposefully to get people i don't know i guess to play the prelude and believe that maybe something changed or their player was going to be fantastic or maybe that they didn't have to buy vc to have a good player i'm not sure but it was supposed to result in more vc purchases more money. The last thing you talked about was the AI slider cheese. Apparently the other team you're playing, the opponents when you're playing my career, always have a slider advantage. So when you go off and then you come back on and your team is somehow down 20, it's not by chance, it's not unlucky. It's actually systematically designed for it to be that way for whatever reason. And we know that because there was also proof in 2K17 with NBA 2K going too far, making the AI way too challenging and absolutely ruining the game with, remember that whole double team fiasco where the AI were just hounding you every time you scored 30 points? It was technically realistic if someone's gonna drop that many buckets, let's throw a double on him, but it wasn't fun to play because you play my career to ball out and be a superstar, not so you can be limited to 19 points per game with the Phoenix Suns. So anyway, those are all alleged things and those are the main points he brought up in the video, but a lot of people said, Agent, did you see that video? Of course I've seen the video. I see all the videos. Honestly, I don't know, man. I think it's likely that it's true and I don't think it's surprising that all of that happened. And I, I, mean, I guess that's kind of sad to say, right? I don't know how we went from talking about big dicks to now NBA 2K employee leaks. That's, all right, we're here now. All right, let's assume all of this did happen. The NBA 2K, actually it's the Take Two CEO comes out and says, we're focused on coming out with entertainment packages with a lot of value. So instead of like, basically saying they're gonna scale down on microtransactions, I made a video on the article where they promised they were gonna do that. I'll link it above if you missed that video. And there's a reason in that video I said I don't believe what he's saying is true and that they're probably gonna go even harder for microtransactions next year because if this year was any proof and if last year was any proof and if the history of 2K was any proof, these guys are making a ton of money and every year they're making even more money. To mess with that formula I think is ludicrous in a business sense. In a consumer sense, obviously at a certain point there's a breaking point and if you don't at some point focus on the consumers, they're gonna lose interest and cut. Anyway, we'll see how things plan out. I'm trying to just not think about 2K19 much. Cause thinking about it's not gonna make it better or worse. It's just gonna get me too anxious about the game, man. Anyway, uh, I have a lot of exciting videos coming up. Can't say much about yet. All right, so we're just gonna leave the video the way we started it. Click on one of these two videos here if you didn't watch them and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.